All right, we're checking out the brand new Blank on 11. Got it all downloaded and installed here on VirtualBox. It is a Debian based distro customized GNOME. Uh, actually, it's called uh, the environment is called Man Okari, or probably pr mispronouncing that, but close enough. Anyway, this is the way it booted up. So let's have a look at this thing. It's got. Uh, task switchers there and then you scroll over to the side it has this menu kind of a thing it shows you all kind of system settings there you can just select through it and it'll pop up whatever that directs it to then you got a music player and bookmarks there's twitter facebook and i think that is blank on website there and some other website and then you got a little clock at the bottom and then over here you have the terminal you got settings Screenshot, LibreOffice, Inkscape, GIMP, Firefox, Files, Calculator, and Audacious on this little dock down here. Let's see. I think this dock is just a panel. I don't think it's a dock or anything. Then you got your calendar, and there's your sound, and what is that? Internet connections and keyboard layout. And then here is the blank on menu. Pretty neat menu, not bad at all. So just under two gigabyte download. So let's uh, see what's installed. There's calculators, got disk utilities, fonts, and all that, screenshot, and search for files and everything. Games, couple of games, Pac Man, and some other little game there. Internet's got Core Bird, Firefox, Guinea Mail, Email, and Pigeon and all that. And then under Office, got the full LibreOffice. And under Sound and Video, Audacity has got the Brad Zero's Disk Burner. There's Cheese Webcam Booth, VLC, and then it's got Science System Tools. Got your Disk Usage Analyzer. It's got the GDABI Package Installer. That's always good to have root terminals software center there is the system monitor let's see what it's using on memory real quick so just about 671 megabyte and let's get back to the menu here there's terminal i did install the virtual box to get the guest editions to install it didn't fire up uh, with the guest editions already installed out of the box so uh there's uh preferences uh let's see settings got the tweak on there administrator tool does have the synapse package manager on there so there is all that pretty nice uh setup and let's see there's the tweaks let's see what the tweaks got so that is, they got all new software it's all been updated uh, a couple of new themes so there's got the blackbird it's got Bluebird, Blackbird is a pretty nice theme. Let's have a look at that one real quick. There is the Blackbird, if you like a nice dark theme. It's got the Bluebird. And, well, the Bluebird don't go. And Bromo, never heard of that one. So we'll just leave it on that one. And here's the icons, Gnome, High Collar. Okay, what is that? Cursors and icons. So, what is that icons? Okay, oh, yeah, there's the cursors, red glass, couple cursors. So there's your icons, and here is all your startup power. I didn't see no, they got the extensions totally cut off. So there that is. And there's the file browser. It looks pretty nice. I like the icons. The uh, Let's see what icons were those. Oh, that's the system settings. I'll go back to the tweak. So let's see the tweak. Let's go back and see real quick. So uh, Tebow Flat. I've never heard of those. Tebow. Tebow. Okay, here's the system settings. There's the backgrounds. Let's have a look at background. Just uh, showing two backgrounds in here. So I don't know where this other background is coming from. So that's the only backgrounds it is showing. And so there's notifications, all your system settings, the device, and networking. And let's see, details. There's blank on. It has a pretty neat uh, installer. It You can either boot it up and run a live. It does have the live 
you know where you can just run it live and then it has an installer um, and it's a pretty neat installer it's not bad at all it installs really quick so there it is version 3.26.2 not a bad build here all looking really good it does seem like it has some kind of little effects to it you notice and there that thing slides in you come over here slides that and so there's all dashes there's the files there's inkscape all your terminal stuff down here screenshot LibreOffice, and it seems like it's running fairly quick quick i didn't see any kind of a updater or anything like that in the menu or uh in the system settings anywhere so down here it's got session log out and everything and didn't see there's the software center i guess you could use that to update it and it's the system monitor it's got the gw package there's network tools so i like this menu it's a pretty neat menu and it works really good and it's got a search on it so if you're looking for something you know bam there it is works really good so i guess you can get updates from here and let's see if this thing will looking for updates there that is but i didn't see anything um popping up maybe it will it probably will so there uh no one cancel that um so there it is i mean it's not bad at all and let's see you got to clear the the search every time you have the menu you notice if i i still has things typed up there it will remember that and the menu doesn't like reset i don't know it just seems to stay in that position so you got to clear that out and then continue on as soon as you type something there go back to the menu if it's still there you see so not bad at all there's your system settings it all seems to work real quick and you notice when you uh, have windows open let's open a file browser here you notice the windows up here you have this other little thing that pops out and it tells you what it is but it's nothing you can really click on or anything like that it just kind of pops up shows you where you're at so I don't, I don't know what that's it just kind of shows you so uh pretty neat nonetheless not a bad environment and there's your little music player you got a uh, website so when you click on these it'll take you like to the background date and time you click on that it'll take you to the date and time networking take to networking printer takes you right to that so get the idea not bad at all it all works real good not bad at all so there that is so pretty neat build and i think this panel uh, dock down here is just a panel i don't think it's a um docky or anything so i was right clicking on it trying to get to the settings or anything about it i i, I didn't see uh, matter of fact let's go to the tweak maybe it might be in the tweak and but that menu works really good so nothing in the startup applications there's mouse and keyboard settings um appearance desktop fonts windows so i didn't see anything in here but there's all those settings so other than that it works really good and let's see if it's got any kind of no no tiling or anything like that so there that is and let's see alt tab it just pulls up that uh that's your alt tab right there so that's about it for this uh blank on it's all been updated ready for you to check out not a bad build here and this is the man okari i think that's how i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right but uh, it's man okari environment and it's got a nice selection of software already installed not bad at all so there you go 
all been updated all new software and there is your terminal and let's see what kernel it's using you name what is that r414 so there that is so not bad not bad at all this was blank on 11 and i guess i'm gonna wrap this up here all right i'm out